windshield wiper blades down. So here on the Upchip channel, we drink organic energy drinks, but then we just dump all the exhaust with no emission stuff into the air on our diesel truck. So I got my AutoCraft skill tool right here. I'm just gonna pop these four pins out of the cover. Look at all that build up. Horrible build up. I'm gonna have to really clean that up. So now I gotta get these four bolts off. There's one here, 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 and here. And I got my nice Stanley tool kit, so I'm gonna open that up and let's get her off. There we go. There we go, we got all the screws off, now it's time to pull off the grill. There we go, we got the ram grill off of the truck. No way. Is this a McDonald's bag? Wedged in here in the truck, definitely from Tennessee. Yeah, see there you can see easily that it's something on the breakfast menu. Could be a bacon, egg, and cheese. Could be a sausage biscuit with egg. <laughs> this is this is gross. I'm not seeing any more bags or anything, but it is pretty built up and dirty down in there. So Dodge was nice enough to, or I should say that Ram was nice enough to make the grill inserts separate from the actual entire grill portion here, unlike the. Silverado, you kind of have to change the entire thing. But yeah, I'm gonna pull out these inserts. <laughs> Had to run to get another screwdriver. Some of these clips are pretty hard to get into. <laughs> Finally got all the clips off. Grill inserts are now a separate part of the Ram grill. Now I must say those clips were pretty hard to get off. They're not easy. Maybe it was worth just keeping them on, but there we go. So I just hosed the whole thing down. I actually spilled my drink, so I got another one. Oh, that one's a lot better. So I already hosed all of it down. I got the other portion of the grill drying off. Now I'm just cleaning this up a bit more and then we're gonna start sanding this stuff down. Yeah guys, it's happening. All right guys, so I just dragged some, I just grabbed some sandpaper now I'm gonna start sanding it down. That paper was pretty dull, just grab some of this disc sander. I would use the actual disc sander, but this wasn't compatible, so I'm just gonna do it by hand. It's very small and tight corners here anyway. <laughs> this goes to show that I really hate chrome. I'm just going to throw a layer of primer down.
So I just threw down a second layer of primer and then while I let that dry, I got the hose all the way out here and I was actually able to hose some of that debris stuck. It is now time to color match the grill inserts. Oh wait, what? I know what I meant. I meant paint black. So I basically got everything open on the Cummins. Now, I figured it was time to take those floor mats that I've had in the sun for multiple weeks. I power washed them multiple times, washed them with a hose multiple times. I just wanted to make sure they were clean as possible because I did get them from a friend. And here we go. I put these two small ones right here, one in the middle. And then I have a bigger one over there. Finally moved the big one up here, along with the other one that I had from the old SUV Buick that I had. It was actually really cool. It had leather interior, had the moon roof, and the sound system was actually very bassy in that car for being a couple years old. All right, she's all ready to go. Now I just gotta clip her back into the rest of the grill. <laughs> Right, let's get her put back in the place. All right, guys, so I just closed the hood. Now I'm going to back up and check out what it looks like. Oh my gosh, guys, it looks so much better than it did before. It's really starting to look like a brand new one. I know a lot of them come with the black grill inserts, like how my truck looks now, but here you go, guys. Enough waiting. Let's check it out. It literally looks like a brand new one now. I'm so happy with the results. Like, let me just zoom into that for you real quick. It looks so much better than it did before. I just hated how there was so much chrome going on in this grill, and it turned out very well. I'm not going to touch it. There's still some little bits of dust from when I was inserting it back onto the regular part of the grill from the primer. So I'm just going to let that blow away. I don't want to touch it. It's still curing a little bit, but it's definitely dry enough to be able to put back on. Plus the sun is not facing directly on it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think this is just a big change for the Cummins. I think it looks so much better this way. And I mean, especially because I do like blacked out bumpers, as you can see on the Silverado that used to all be chrome but this is definitely a big change. Obviously, I didn't go with the full-on bumpers and stuff like that. If I went with the full bumper, I'd probably get a professional job done, but here we go. We now got the black handlebars and the black grill inserts on the Cummins, and it looks so much better. So a lot more stuff coming. Something did come in the mail recently, so there's gonna be a new mod. That's why I didn't actually put the heavy-duty cover on the truck yet, so this is gonna have to do for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Cummins looks great now, just like the Silverado. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so I can see you next video. Have a nice day, guys.